Good morning guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome to Guatemala. Today is the first day here, we've just arrived. Super early in the morning, um, crossed the border at like 6 a.m. It's about 8 a.m. now, and we are in Tikal. So Tikal is one of the biggest um, cities in the whole of Maya civilization. So we're gonna check that out today. And uh, yeah, it should be pretty epic. So this temple here is Temple 38, which apparently is full of um, bodies. So loads of skeletons inside of it. So we're right near the Grand Plaza. We've, that's what we've just come across first. So we're just outside the Grand Plaza now and found the first temple, which is Templo Uno, big boy. You can't really tell on camera how big it is, but I think it's 38 meters high, he said, which is huge. In this play, place, play just three player, players against three. Hoops were made, were left on the side, and on this side, just two of them, in vertical position, where the Mayas had, the players had to pass the ball several times, but nobody knows the rules. One of the theories said that after finish the game, winners should be taken to the open field and lie down them on top of the round stones, cut their chest, get out the heart, get the blood and offer to their gods. So this is the grand square, Templo Uno is just there and Templo Dos is there. But we're going to come back and climb it in a sec. There's two things just in the tree there. They're moving. Probably can't see them, you can hear them though. So right behind me, tucked away in the jungle, just up there, don't know if you guys can see it, is Templo Tres, which is the temple of the Jaguar priest. And it is insane because it's really tall up, but it's completely covered by the jungle. Absolutely insane, all the way up there. Temple Cuatro, which is just in the distance, I don't think you can see it. So Temple 4 is actually where they filmed um, a Star Wars film. So the rebel base was like inside, so that's where it was set. Just reach the top right now. The view is insane. Ooh. That one there is Temple Tres, and that there is Temple um, Uno y Dos. There's quite a lot of tourists here, though. It's not very like idyllic. So this is the base foundation of Temple 4 and at the top, all the way, it's 70 meters high, which is absolutely mad. You right, Dan? No, no, I don't have anything to say, put me on the spot. <laughs> but I could do this. Yeah? What do you want to say? What do no, you want to no, say? No. You want to do it by yourself? So I don't get how people can do this. It's, it's actually quite heavy. Asher! This is my girlfriend. Hey, we just reached this together, we're on the honeymoon stage. <laughs> it's going well. I took on a private jet the other day. Then a yacht. And then a yacht whilst I was having a cigar. Anyway, yeah, numero four was a, I'll be honest with you, not the toughest climb in the world. I think everyone who's done it can probably do that. Don't get me wrong, very lovely views at the top, but the actual climb was a bit naff, if you ask me. Right, 
now I'm going to attempt the climb of Temple Dos, which is the one on the Grand Square. So we've come back now and we're going to climb up that one to get the view of the Grand Square. <laughs> right, so I'm back in the main square. So the temples are west and east, and you've got north and south, which are the, the there's the cemetery, and then there's a residential area on the other side. So I'm going to head to the cemetery and have a look at that. And the whole graveyard area is behind me there. So basically, they're all buried up here, essentially. Right guys, we have just finished up in Tikal, um, so now we're going to be getting our bus and we're heading to Flores. So that's where we're spending the night tonight. Um, yeah, hopefully it's not too far of a journey. Right guys, so it's late afternoon here in uh, Flores and I'm out with Sat. Hi guys. So we're gonna go explore around the uh, Flores Island, uh, see what it's got to offer basically, and see if we can maybe see the sunset, but it's not looking likely. Fingers crossed. Yeah, fingers crossed. I read up earlier that this place has got like a really Mediterranean vibe, which I'm starting to kind of understand why it's like that. It's just, it's very different, it feels like, from the rest of sort of Central America. It's got its own sort of unique style to it. Good morning guys, it is a lovely sunny morning here in Flores and uh, I'm going to wrap this video up here. This morning I am travelling to Rio de Dulce in, uh, in Guatemala, it's about five hours away and it's the jungle essentially in Guatemala. Um, so yes, yeah, so make sure to check out that video but until then I'll see you guys in the next one.